He asked you, uh, off the top of my head, excuse me, is that in the Marvelous Mark Mero thing, uh, the boxing thing, at some point you would just hike your trunks up to your nipples and then do that sort of thing and uh, sort of mug through. Where did that come from as a taunt? Oh, my gosh. Um, you know, when my little brother, my little brother is bigger than me, but he's two years younger than me. When we were kids, we were very poor and we had bunk beds. And we would uh, we would fight on the bunk beds with wrestling. You know, we watched our, our favorite wrestlers on television and we'd wrestle. And then, of course, the bunk beds would fall through and we couldn't fix them. So we, we, when, we, when we realized that when you put two mattresses on the floor, it comes out to be like a wrestling ring. <laughs> just escalated, you know? And I just remember that uh, we would do silly things and, you know, we'd pull up our, our pants real high and act like we're real tough guys and blow out our lats, you know? It was just a silly, stupid thing to do. And um, uh don't really remember where, where I first saw it, but it was just a silly thing we, we would do. It was just a Anything to piss off people or or get people to dislike me more and more back then. I've found the question. Um, it, it, apparently, there's a, a rumor that you did this to pop a particular wrestler in the back. I'm not sure I understand the question. How- oh, uh, you, you were you, you did this to amuse a single wrestler in the back who you said, and apparently it may have been the British Bulldog. I don't. I don't recall that. Um, the British Bulldog was uh, another river, okay? So I, I, I don't, there, there may be enough time. We, I, yeah, I don't, I don't remember that. Yeah, it's, I, I would like to know more about the, where that came from, though, because there, there may be some truth to it. I don't, if there's a specific thing. Yeah. 